Hi, well, welcome to uh, a, a new thing, which um, probably isn't a thing actually, it's probably just this, but um, anyway, I felt compelled to do it, because uh, today I'm going to do my first ever unboxing video. Unboxing videos seem to become the, um, uh, quite the thing these days, so this is what's inspired me to do it. Um, there we go. As you can see, this is from uh, MCIU, Mains Cables Are Us, uh, www.mciu.co.uk, although it's a good friend David Brooks' business, MCIU. Uh, he also has Brook Audio, which is a bricks and mortar hi-fi shop and um, other brands he trades under for, for, for records, uh, various things like that. Anyway, here we go. So this is uh, this is a very nice box, Royal Mail signed signed for blah blah blah. Turned up this morning, and uh, I'm quite excited about it. And there is a clue as to what's in here. Does anyone have the faintest knowledge of what this might be? We wonders. We wonders. No, right. Well, here we go. On with the unboxing because I can't wait any longer. So excuse me. Grab my scissors. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I have to say, uh, MCIU is a good place to buy new vinyl. Um, my regular vinyl I buy from Raves from the Grave, um, a quite widely renowned record shop based in Froome uh, and Warminster. And um, they also sell second hand records, and I've got a vast selection. And it's uh, it's very impressive, but for sort of specialist audiophile stuff, then um, M well, Brook Audio, um, MCIU, uh, totally forgotten the name of his uh, um, the final frontier, I think. But hey, if that's the competitor's website, then then what the heck? Anyway, um, David Brook, look him up. So here we go. What's in here then? Have we any guesses? Let's open up. And we see very nicely packed. Um, I mean, it's you know, if you're buying something nice, it's nice to make sure it's nicely packed so you receive it nicely. So, piece of polystyrene, we don't need that. Lots of bubble wrap, and then dun, 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 dun. here we go. Here we go. This is what excites a young Denier sufficiently to make such a video. There we are, a wonderful Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab One Step Original Master Pressing of the Yes album Fragile, which was released in 1971. Um, I have an original here, UK original. It's a wonderful album, one of the best Yes albums out. Uh, the original came with uh, a, um, actually this, I've seen this pasted in and I've also seen it loose, this booklet. Uh, I'm not sure which came first, to be honest, I think it's possibly just batches of the same, but um, you can tell a kind of a UK original because they're on that label rather than the uh, later Atlantic uh, orange and green label. So that's an original. Sounds bloody fabulous, but being a well-played record and 39 years old, it's um, it's not mint anymore. And there is just a little bit of break up here and there. And uh, it's a terrible shame because it is such a such a great album. So for for this Mobile Fidelity, they go back to the master tapes, the original masters, I believe. Um, certainly probably a very low generation copy or production but anyway let's assume the original masters right? um, and the entire workflow is all in the analog domain as my good friend Tim de uh, assures me um, they use kit designed and developed by him modified by him as well as uh, um, you know I mean it's not all made by him so uh, you know Studios, ATRs, all sorts of things, Tyrone, whatever. Anyway, so here we go. So uh, this is number 
5,000 and 83 out of 7,500. They only make a limited number of these. Uh, the thing about this one step ultra disc um, is they, uh, they cut out a whole stage of um, stampers and mothers, mothers, whatever. In the process of making a record, you get, you get your sort of, um, your, your molds are cut, uh, uh, you cut the, you cut the sort of the, um, the master uh, disc and then um, you uh, make a mold from that and, and, and so on and so forth. And basically there's two, two layers of molds made. Um, and for these, they only make one. So they kind of make that original mold. And then rather than making a series of masters from it, they just press the records. I think that's pretty much it. Basically, they, they chop out two steps of the process. So you're getting a much closer to uh, original thing. And this is, um, it's, it's finished in a, it's almost slightly matte, obviously not the gold, but you can feel it. It's, it's, um, it's slightly embossed. It's, it's deliciously produced and presented. Um, yeah, you can see the sort of the pressing of the image on the inside there. And it's been pressed a nice sheet of foam, keep everything nice. Oh, here we go. Here's the booklet. Looks pretty good. Actually, I've got the original, just out, just out of interest. Shits and giggles. How good is it? Let's have a look. Um, Okay, well, it's a slightly different colour, um, to be honest. It's kind of got a greener hue to it. Um, it's, um, and interestingly enough, on my original one, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a little bit of sort of registration between the colours. There's actually an error in the printing there and um, they haven't got that here although interesting uh, down here there's some text music's chosen words more than move the feeling directed to our soul war music peace music love music we move to it all in that little box down the bottom there is on the reissue there's bugger all doesn't say anything. So it's um, it's kind of interesting. It's not um, it's not an entirely faithful reproduction, but hell, it is at the end of the day what it sounds like. But it's got it's got a copy of the book. Um, here we go. Original. Uh, dearly departed Chris Squire, bass player, fantastic. The, the reissue colours just aren't as nice actually, to be honest. Even though on that first page, and even on this page, there's a press, you can see the registration of the colours is off. But that said, the images look better. Um, and frankly, to get a, uh, well, yeah, it's pretty, uh, that's kind of quite interesting. Anyway, there's the book, you get the book not glued into the uh, album cover. There's an explanation of the um, one-step process. So you have lacquer, convert, they call it, and then um, vinyl. So the lacquer is cut on the lathe. So that's like a positive, you could play it, but you, you can't play it, it don't last very long. Um, and then they kind of, uh, they make a negative, which is sort of, they're calling it a convert here, but it's, it's the mold, it's the whatever you want to call it and then press the vinyl. Normal process is you cut the lacquer, you make a father, in which you make a mother, in which you make the stamper, and then the vinyl. So you can see how, how this thing is a lot closer. And then, um, oh, that's not the book, that's not the album, that's just a, um, that's a repro of the cover with the original master recording across the top, as all their releases have. Um, and here, and here I've got it. Interesting. Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab gratefully acknowledges and thanks those individuals and companies for their technical support and expertise. Tim de Parabaccini, Pass Labs, Lipinski Sound and Sound Amplification, 
any sonic artifacts present are a product of the original master tape. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. And then, LP1, in a rather nice single LP sleeve. Interesting thing here is they have, I rather I like this. I think this is, this is one of my things about this brand, attention to detail. So, as you, well, you can see here, it's, it's within the card sleeve is another card sleeve folded over. Um, and as you know, on the, on the inside of the sleeves, you'll have the fold, so the sleeve sticker. Uh, what they do is they just put a piece in with these cut out. So basically the record sees an entirely flat environment to be in. And then there's the, that's a beautiful record. It's uh, these are very, very nice original sleeves too, to be honest. Let's have a look at this. So this is on two 45 RPM LPs. Um, so, yeah, here at side one, we've just got Roundabout and Cans and Brahms. Side two, we have Heaven and South Side of the Sky. Um, I've got to say, I'm really excited to get this on the turntable. I really am. It's one of my favourite albums. Uh, Funnily enough, it was the first album I ever heard on um, the uh, Purple and Plum kind of um, Atlantic label. Uh, and, and until then, because I mean, those things came out before my time, they stopped producing those labels in 71, I think, 72. And... Um, so I'd never heard any. I, I, you know, they, they, they stopped making them by the time I started buying records, which was sort of 70, mid 70s. Here we have uh, side three and four, or side two of the original LP. Side four, Heart of the Sunrise, gets the whole side fabulous. I mean, just fabulous. Cannot wait. Anyway, I shall, um, I shall give that a clean in a minute. And then I should pop it on the uh, on the clear audio master reference. I'm just going to take a bit of choice and um, play through the aesthetics IO Eclipse phono stage, my phono stage of choice. Anyway, what a beautiful thing! What a beautiful thing! They're not cheap. I mean, this is um, this is well, I think in the U US, if you buy them in the US, they're, they're like 100, 100 quid, something like that. I don't know exactly. In the UK, they cost a bit more because they've got to be shipped over here. And someone's got to pay duty and VAT and all the rest of it, whether that's you or the dealer or whatever. I get, I tend to get my, my stuff like this from um, David Brook at Brook Audio, as I've said, because, um, you know, he just, he's, he's like a, he's like a, you know, a terrier, basically kind of, he hears things are available and then he'll just, he just won't let up until he gets some for his shop and he buys stock and he sells them and he sells them at a profit and the price is going to cost you a bit more than if you directly import it, but you don't get the hassle, you know? So I kind of think it's worth it. And anyway, there we go. That's, um, yes, Fragile. I've got quite a few of these uh, one steps, um, but there is absolutely no question. This is the one that I've been waiting for. Um, just stunning. Cannot wait to hear it. I should be playing it very soon. Okay. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.